Welcome back to Power BI Helpline. Do you think top in or bottom in filter is possible with field parameters? Let's find out. Here that you can see, I am dynamically selecting the top in for product name, customer name, or stores. And my below table visual is giving me the selected results. In this video, I will explain the problem with field parameters and how can you create this functionality in Power BI. Let's start from understanding the problem first. I have this data model with sales, customers, product and stores table. I also have created a measure to calculate total sales. To create a field parameter, I will first click on the modeling tab, then drop down new parameter and select field. You can choose the required fields which you want to use in your toggle button. In this example, I am selecting customer name from customer table, product name from products table, and then store names from store table. Make sure that add slicer on report page is checked. I can now format my slicer and change the slicer type to tile so that it will look like a toggle button. Adjust the size of this slicer and place at the appropriate area in your report page. Now I can easily select the required field to toggle from my visual. Next, I will create a matrix visual. I will use the same field parameter as row header and then my total sales measure as the values. At this moment, I can select any of the field from my slicer, my row headers will change based on the selected fields. This is working as expected. But now I want to add top and filter on this visual. Let's try and see if it works or it throws some error. So I will expand my filter section. And since currently store names are selected, I will apply a top five filter based on my total sales measure. This is filtering the top five store names but let's change the slicer selection to product name. It is showing me all the products now. And if I will try adding another top and filter for product names, it will not allow me to do that. So how to solve this problem? Now we will not only solve this problem, but we will also add another slicer where we can dynamically choose our top and numbers and then filter our visuals for the selected field from our slicer. Let's do that. I will create a new DAX measure. First of all, Let's check what is the format it uses for the selected fields. I will use selected value function and then use parameter field from the parameter table in its argument. As that you can see, it is giving table name and the column name for my field and it will change based on my selection. I need to use this as text values inside my measure for validation and then I will create the rank based on these selections. So at first, I will use switch true logic and then one by one I will validate the slicer selection. If selected value from the parameter is equal to customer name, then I will rank all the customer names based on its total sales values. For that I can use rank x function. I will repeat this part of expression for other two fields, which are product name and store name. I can just copy this section and just replace the selected value part with the another field. Like I am replacing here with product name. Replace the field from the all selected function as well. I can do the same thing for store name as well in similar way. This measure will just create ranks for the selected fields. All right, now if we'll use this measure in my table visual, I will see that ranks for each of my fields value. And even if I change the field for my slicer, it will calculate the rank for the selected parameter. To have a top five filter, I can now add this measure as visual level filter and select rank should be less or equal to 5, and my visual will only show top 5 fields based on the selection. As that you can see, if I select product name or store name, my visual is showing top 5 based on that. Next step is to add another numeric parameter, so that users will have flexibility to choose top and numbers based on their requirements. Here you can mention the minimum and maximum numbers, including the increments. This will again add a slicer on my report page, where I can choose any number. If required, I can change the format to a list or drop down slicer. I will choose a drop down slicer style. Now I will create another measure. I will name it as dynamic filter. Here I will store the selected value from this numeric parameter in a variable. And then in return statement, I will check if my rank measure is less or equal to the selected number or not. I am using it function so that it will convert true false values with one or zero. Next is to remove the existing hard coded top five filter from the visual level filter and use this dynamic filter with its value one or true. Now I can dynamically select my end value for top and filter 
and my visual will filter based on the selection. I can also change the field using Field Parameter Slicer. There is still one problem, which is if I don't select anything it should show all the values. So I will change my measure a little bit. I can add this condition. If my slicer is filtered then only validate this condition, else give the value 1 on default so that I can see all the line items if nothing is selected. This functionality could be very useful in your Power BI projects. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to our channel for more such interesting topics in Power BI. Post your suggestions and feedbacks in comment box.